Hi students, welcome to Micro Super Maths. Our class is running on complex numbers. Now our topic is integral powers of iota. In class one, we completed the values of o, i square, i cube, i power four. Students, what is the i square value? I square value is minus one. I cube value is minus i. I power four value is one. Students, using these three values, we can find out the any integral. Power of i students. Let us see. We find out first of all i power eight students. Write down i i power eight as i power four whole square. Students, write down i power four value as one. You will get one square, which is equal to one. Next one students, find out the i power twelve. Write down i power twelve as i power four whole cube. Again, write down i power four as One you will get one cube which is equal to one students. Now students, on observing i power four is equal to one, i power eight is equal to one, i power two two is equal to one. All these values are equal to one and powers are four multiples. If iota having multiples of iota, if power of iota is four multiples, then its value always equal to one students. Therefore. In generally, it is written as four into i power four n is equal to one students. Here n belongs to n belongs to any integer. If right on writing n is equal to one, you will get i power four, which is equal to one. On writing n is equal to, you will get i power eight, which is also equal to one. On writing n is equal to three in this one, you will get i power Twelve, which is also equal to one students. Therefore, if power of iota is multiple of four, then its value is equal to one. And if generally it is written as i power four n is equal to one, here n is any integer. Okay, so students, if power of i is not equal to multiple of four, how we can find out their values? Let us see one by one. Students, first of all, i power twenty-two. Now, students, since i power four is equal one, on dividing twenty-two with four, you will get five is quotient and remainder is two students. Now, write down i power twenty-two in terms of i power four as i power four whole power five, which is quotient, and into i square. Two is your remainder. Now, students, write down i power four value one. You will get one power five, and which is one. Next, what is your i square value? I square value is minus one. Therefore, totally i power twenty two value is minus one. Students, now let us take i power two hundred and thirty five. Now, write down i uh, i power two hundred and thirty five in terms of four. First of all, on dividing two hundred and thirty five. With four, you will get fifty-eight is quotient and remainder is three. Now write down i power two hundred and thirty-five as i power four whole power your quotient fifty-eight into what is i power your remainder three students. Now students, i power four value is one. One power fifty-eight means one power anything value is one. And what is your i cube value? Minus i is equal to minus i students. Therefore, on observing i power twenty two value depending upon i power remainder on dividing twenty two by four. Next students, i power two hundred and thirty five also depending upon i power remainder on dividing two hundred and thirty five by four. Now students. We can directly write down the i power twenty two as i power remainder only. Similarly, i power two hundred and thirty five also we can write down directly as i cube i cube students. Therefore, therefore, let us see with one example i power thirty. Write down i power thirty directly as i power remainder on dividing thirty. With four, 
you will get uh, what is your remainder students uh, 2 therefore i power 30 is directly written as i power just uh, remainder therefore what is your i square value i square value is uh, minus 1 students now let us see last one i power 35 now students on dividing i power 35 you will get uh, remainder 3 students therefore directly write down i power 35 value is i power just only remainder what is your remainder 30 uh, your remainder is 3 students therefore its value i cube value is minus i therefore i power 35 value is minus i therefore i power 22 is depending upon i power remainder first to find out the remainder students when your iota power is not multiple of 4 then immediately find out the its remainder on dividing with 4 students therefore any multiple of any iota power is find out by on dividing with 4 and find out the its remainder and write down i power remainder students you will get directly its value Therefore, i power 30, write down its remainder as i power. Next, i power 35 is i power its remainder on dividing with 35 by 4 students. Now, these are your homework sum students. i power 2020, i power 2021, i power 2022. Now, students, please post your answers in micro sugar mass youtube channel now students like share and subscribe my channel thank you students for watching